Hi everyone, welcome to back tarot. Today we'll be doing a pick a card reading to see why your person ghosted you. So over here we have group 1, group 2 as well as group 3. You can take a moment to pause the video if you need. Timestamps are left down in the description box below as well as in the comment section. And that's it, <laughs> let's get started. Group 1, this is for those that has picked these Labradorites cards. And the card over here is See the Magic. So I'll take a look at the situation first. Before we go to the tarot, I'll be using the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards to see the situation between you and the person. So Universal Spirits, may I know what's the situation between group one and their person. So we have dates, we have meeting someone new, dating, gets back out there, plan, set date. So Okay, immediately I can see that this person that ghosted you was someone that you went out with a date um, on a date with. <laughs> okay, and for a moment you thought that wow, like there's a possibility for my love life to be rekindled because perhaps may, for many of you I've sensed that uh, it's been quite some time since you get out there to the dating scene and finally you met this individual Okay, and you really thought that wow, there's a new phase, there's a transformation You know, there's a possibility All of that, this person could actually be the one But then, um Okay, then we have self-indulgence, we'll see what's up with this But I really do see that in the beginning of this connection you have with this individual I really thought that this person was the one and the both of you went on a date with each other Okay, and I feel like for many of you guys, you had a very lovely time together, you know, a wonderful time together Sorry about the knocking noise, I think my neighbor was like doing some construction or something Then afterwards we have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility So I feel like you and your person are kind of mature, you know, mature in a sense where the both of you know what you want, the both of you have your own life pathed out, okay? It's, the both of you are no longer like insecure teenager girls, whatever. If you're a teenager, I'm not insulting you, I'm just saying that the both of you really see what you want, the both of you have aspirations and ambitions in life. So I feel like this connection initially felt really strong, like a palm tree, okay? It felt really stable, felt like no matter how hard the wind blows, it's not going to be knocked down. This is what I'm feeling like, wow, there's a sense of permanence, like the roots of this connection really seeps down and like claw down to the, to the ground, like it's so stable, it's not going to knock us down. Okay, can I get one more spirit, please? Okay, I got two actually, three. So then we have love, we have unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, followed by mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships, reflect oh, reflect our wounds and introspection. Um, okay, so I do feel like this is literally quite saying that the connection really felt like it was not just an unrequited love situation, but it felt like you love this individual and so do they, and it really felt like this chemistry, this intense passionate chemistry that both of you had was once again not one-sided. The both of you shared this, the both of you felt what the other person is feeling. Okay, then the other one felt out was talking, interested, conversing more, awaited messages arrives, text, call, email, hovering. And once again the phoenix. So I don't feel like this person didn't really go to you. I feel like um, this person could be kind of busy, you know, could be kind of like not talking to you as much as they were in the past and with the self-indulgence i feel like you know self-indulgence is quite telling like in the cards that i mean it's quite saying that you know it's really focusing on one's work and you could be as well but then you just felt like okay what's going on like why are they not talking to me as much is it something that i did was it something that i said but i feel like with talking over here especially coming to the end of the situation reading i feel like it's quite literally saying that yes this person is so interested in you okay <laughs> and so, uh, like awaited messages awaited messages arrives you know and it's coming and then once again, bottom of the deck, I'm not kidding you, the phoenix once again. So, with the oracle card that I got for you and you chose the label to write see the magic, I feel like for many of you guys felt that um, there's no such thing in love initially, like way before even meeting this person. And it felt like, okay, I'm not really deserving of this kind of love, you know, I'm not, I'm not good enough, blah blah blah, you know, like... Perhaps you feel like this type of chemistry, this type of connection, it's more like in the movies, it's more like in novels and it won't really happen to you. 
until now you finally meet someone that's on the same synchronicity as you understands what you want you know respects you as an as an individual and yeah so this is the situation that i see i see that you know mirroring could also be telling that you know maybe you're just waiting for this person to be texting you back but how are you so certain that this person's not waiting for you as well <laughs> so this is what i'm getting i'll just put the phoenix over here okay okay so now let's see the tarot i'll be using the cardboard tarot rider weight i got from etsy um yeah okay. i'll leave all the cards that i'm using down in the in the um description box below but what i'm trying to say is that this is a situation and this is what i'm saying but tarot will be more in depth and which is what i'm going to be doing like what is the exact reason for them ghosting you, you No, know, not talking to you as much not giving you the same um, attention the you know, same time as it did in the past so the first card we have the lovers yeah mirroring each other soulmate connection for sure okay <laughs> I really feel like you and this person can really be talking so much um, and it feels like time slows down and slowly eventually you then realize that oh it's been 3 hours already wow I feel like we were just talking for like 30 minutes you know and then we have the 10 of swords wow interesting it went straight from the lovers to the 10 of swords and then we have the 4 of cups Thank you. We have the death as well as the five of wands. Wow. Then at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. Okay, I need some clarifiers, but... Well, something must have really happened, you know. Like, the situation over here shows that, wow, you know, the both of you love each other. Then, what's going on? Why is there, like, some form of admitting defeat? Oh, it's not going to happen, you know. Mm, okay. Please clarify the lovers. Ten of Wands. Two tens. To clarify the Ten of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups. To clarify the Four of Cups, we have Judgment. To clarify the Death card, please. We have See the Magic. Like, it's everything that you wanted, right? But why is it like this? Even it's confusing me. Thus, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So three tens actually. Then we have the Moon as well as the Five of Wands. Okay, I see what's going on. Then we have Strength. Okay. So I feel that this... I feel like it's a very self-sabotaging type of thing that's occurring right now. It could be from your side, it could be from theirs. But I feel like the main reason why they are not talking to you because this is why the spread I'm doing is why they're not talking to you is because they feel like they should focus more on their career, on their finances, on, on to attain this 10 of pentacles, uh, on to attain like this fulfillment in a tangible being. I feel like this person that you're dealing with could be someone who's older than you. It doesn't really have to be. But it could really be literally a gentleman like this that's wearing a suit. Someone that's really professional, someone that's trying to build up their own career or has already had their career set it down you know and they want to be more out there you know more stable more income all of that stuff to feel fulfilled in general and i feel like it's because of that they kind of not give you that form of attention and the main reason why um they ghost you i feel like it's because of how intense the, the connection has gotten to them I really do feel so. Let me take a sip of water, I'm sorry. But I feel like with the six, the six with the lovers, okay? Lovers tells me a lot on like making decisions and all of that, but for this specific spread, I feel like it's a lot on, wow, intense, intense chemistry. Feel like you're the one. But there's just so much going on in my life. I can't, I can't give you the attention while trying to juggle with my own things as well. So I feel like this intense connection they have with you um, brings them a lot of burdens for some reason. So it really depends on their own situations but I feel like your person could initially be really like um, certain that oh this type of relationship, this type of romance is not going to happen to me as well. And then they met you. Then they're like, I can't because I don't have my finances settled down right now. I don't feel stable right now. So... 
like it's too much but then I'm too stressed out I can't give you all of the time all of the attention that you need in the world I can't so this is what I see and then this is very prominent over here at the ten of swords as well as the knight of cups this constant pursuing you is bringing them a lot of stress a lot of dread I feel like eventually you just um you just like snap and we draw away from you but I don't feel like it's it's got to do with anything with you I don't feel like there was any fault on your part I feel like it's more on this individual that you're dealing with it's more on your person because I feel like they are so stressed out they are so burned out that they just retreat away from everyone so they just admit their feet they just like surrender and just bet okay I just want to focus on one thing right now I can't keep juggling my with my plate no, giving this this lady, giving group one, or this gentleman, all of my time, and then it consumes me. I don't feel like myself anymore, because I have my priorities right now, and somehow they prioritize their you know, finances, their career, their established like their establishment or anything like that. Okay, their profession above you, because it's not anything regarding you or who you are as an individual, but it's just that they can't handle it anymore and this is their only way on solving things you know so pursuing you gives them a lot of um stress as well for some reason i feel like in general your person has a lot to do with to deal with i mean so they just surrender they're just like okay i'm not gonna pursue for the time being and then with the five sorry with the four of cups as well as judgment i feel like your person was constantly saying things as how they want to be from their perspective instead of acknowledging that it has hurt you they are kind of justifying on their side that okay i didn't hurt group one because i was doing this because i was so busy you know i ghosted them they should be understanding blah 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 but i feel like eventually they will talk to you i feel like for quite some time now they're kind of deluded you know then eventually judgment over here will clarify with their judgment and <laughs> definitely like clarify with them like hey you know should really wake up wake up your own idea like what you're doing is actually hurting her it's actually hurting him it's actually hurting group one and it brings down to death you know new beginnings in terms of the tangible beings i feel like eventually this judgment will bring your person enlightenment and i feel like it's really depending on the time and the period and if whether or not they want to take this advice you know this wisdom from the angels above so what i'm trying to say is that the universe is constantly giving them clues so their intuition could be telling them all of this but i feel like for many of you guys your person is kind of logical it's kind of practical okay it's kind of like an analytical type of person and they won't really like be convinced with this type of things like ha huh, angels blah 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 but i feel like they themselves know that they've done you wrong okay and they are not they're not proud of it but um i feel like their own the higher self will tell them like hey something is up and you've done group one wrong i think you should really bring group one closure because you literally just retreated away from them with no with nothing you know like not telling them what's up so to give you an answer to tell you how they've been doing and stuff like that then I feel like eventually this clarity that they gain from this pathway that I see, once again, it really depends on your person whether they want to do it or not. Because um, this is what I'm reading based on the energy, okay? Based on the current energy, I mean. And whatever actions they are going to be taking is really depending on them. So the future is never set in stone. Just know that this is where it's heading. And I feel like they will eventually see that, okay, what will bring me stability in life is not just all of this. But it's because of you as well. It's because of group one. Love. And for some reason, I'm getting that. Then we have the five of wands as well as the moon. Once again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, your person has been very practical, has been working on their establishments, has been working on a professional for, for quite some time. Or they're just very, very expert and very ambitious towards it. And they will have like a period of internal conflict. And they feel like, wow, you know, they're not sure about what to think in the future. So for quite some time, after they get some form of clarity within themselves, okay, 
like I feel like right now it's more on the episode where they're trying to retreat and trying to ask themselves like what's wrong why am I not stable in life why am I feeling like this why am I feeling so drained out you know have I been doing things right you know did, was I a jerk to to group one all of that and then every time clarity and then acknowledging that okay I've done something wrong and what was there I lack in you know I lack the insights and I didn't really pursue her, I didn't pursue him, I didn't pursue group one because I was too de I was too much in my head, I was too delusional and then I missed the chance. Then there's an the internal conflict happening like oh shit, will they come back? You know, have I done wrong? Is this the right path? All of that. I feel like your person could be eventually in an internal conflict and the reason why they have yet to act on it and yet to talk to you right now is a lot on um, not knowing what to expect in the future you know unforeseeable future and they're scared they're afraid and their internal self is in conflict battling with one opinion to the next I feel like finally when they manage to bring down to a conclusion and come down to a conclusion I mean they will come and talk to you and it's just a matter of time so right now with the strength cut at the bottom of the deck, it's a lot on them trying to, you know, like this is what you don't see. And this is the overall mood, uh, the overall energy I mean, which is the strength in this spread. And I feel like it's speaking a lot on your person is just, you know, having the courage to not talk to you, having the courage to just have strength and seek the insight, seek the wisdom within themselves. This is what I see. Yeah, so you know, having courage, you know, holding back on not talking to you, holding back on a lot of things instead of saying all of that, you see, the Emperor and then the Eight of Pentacles and then the Two of Swords and then the Five of Swords, like you see, and then the Hanged Man, um, your person's just waiting, your person, like you could really be in their mind, okay, but instead of thinking about you, instead of talking to you, I mean, they're constantly thinking about you, but instead of talking to you, they hold their words back. They hold their knowledge back, they hold their feelings back and wait for you to come to them and so just distract themselves with work just distract themselves with building up their fundamentals in terms of what they thought was right but then eventually, and I feel like this is what they're going through right now they realize that they fucked up, okay? So, let's get some channel messages from the person Okay, so I have a lot. It all came out. Um, so I got, I wish things could be different. You were the best thing in my life. I wonder if you're happy without me. I love you unconditionally and I'm so attracted to you. So right now, at the bottom of the deck, what you don't see and what they really want to tell you is the message from the higher self is that I'm not available. So right now, they are just not available, okay? They don't. I feel like, once again, they are in the Four of Cups energy, they are just retreating and just not really wanting to see the messages from the universe and the angels and the spirit, and the spirit guide I mean. So eventually they will snap out and then you will get this form of clarity. So when in Zip will they talk to you? I really feel like it's not really depending on the cards, but it really depends on your person. When do they want to wake up? When do they want to open their eyes and to come down to the realization that they fucked up? That they have to talk to you because you are the one that will bring them this ten of ten of pentacles instead of whatever idea they thought were were right, you know. And then every time whenever we as human beings we come down to the acknowledgement that oh we fucked up, I was wrong, you know. Then I was right, but I fucked up. Then we will have internal conflict. We will assume things, we will like accuse not accuse, but like fight within ourselves then come down to a conclusion and be afraid and I feel like your person maybe has been there or maybe is going through it or most of you guys not even there yet but they will have to go through this and it really depends on your own courage it really depends on your own strength you know it really depends on their individual courage strength stamina whether they can go through this and then come and talk to you and offer you like hey you know I'm really sorry because I do not see it right now I see that as of now this is the main reason why they're not talking to you they are being very deluded in their own judgement and yeah so I feel like once they open their eyes they will definitely see the magic I see that you already see it, you already acknowledge it that there's a spark in this connection that is so 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 you know hard to come by 
but they have yet to because like I said for most of you guys your person's very logical very analytical but logical and analytical will get you one way like emotions and being spiritual and all of that will get you another you have to be keeping a balance and I feel like your person's lacking in that I feel like your person's meant to go through this type of stage to realize that okay whatever that I've been working on if I keep focusing my 100% on it and not on my own like private private life I don't have my love life in check and all of that stuff then I will not be in balance because your person's not in balance right now and I feel like the main thing is you have to give them some time like this is something that aspiration that they want you know to have the king of pentacles to be in their position to be feeling like established and fundamentally grounded but they are not there yet this is what they want right but eventually communication will be coming through see oh my god i got this right now there's a lot of nostalgia building up they're definitely thinking about you definitely because i saw the five of swords they're thinking about you but they're not really talking to you you know there's a lot of nostalgia and yet they are keeping their truth they're retreating they're still wanting to see but eventually communication will come and it really depends on them individually so i can't tell you when it will be specifically it really depends on them so group one i really hope that i help you okay if you do like this reading please leave down a like and subscribe because it will mean a lot to me goodbye Group 2, this is for those that has picked this card, the Phantom Quartz, and then we have Embrace Change. Mm, okay, we'll see what's up with it, but before I get to the tarot, I'll see your situation with your person in this connection with the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. Okay, so let's do it and wow, that's really fast. First, we have Hand of Cards, Take a Chance, Risk, Being Strategic, Options, Not Showing Hands, and Gambling. And then we have mask, we have not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, dilute, gaslighting. Bottom of the deck, we have twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complements each other. Embrace change. I feel like your person knows that there's something very different from you as compared to other connections that they had in the past or perhaps even connections they will be having in the future and I feel like they know that once again there's something very special and this person could be a twin flame I'm really sorry about my dog barking <laughs> but anyway um, and, and then because I don't know what's up with them I feel like a person's refusing to embrace change okay perhaps there's some sense of uncertainty Perhaps it's just afraid to take risk and they they just hide their feelings. They hide how they genuinely feel towards you. And and then some of you guys may be gaslighted from this individual. And yeah, like take a chance for these options. These option words keep coming up to me. I feel like I don't know if it's you or your person. You know, okay, then we have the chaser to clarify the hand of cards we have chaser and codependent relationship fear of abandoned issue i do see that your person could be kind of manipulative and narcissistic i'm just going to say it out there if this doesn't resonate please leave um yeah because it's a collective reading it's not going to resonate with everyone but i do see that for many of you guys or perhaps this person is just manipulative and gaslighting and like a misogynist perhaps you know constantly mansplaining and like narcissist in general um and then i feel like you are the chaser you're constantly trying to find validation in this person at least in the past and i feel like your person feels that there's a lot of options that they have but yet they are still sticking with you because there's something very different with you and instead of trying to acknowledge it that they have to be with you because you are so special as compared to other people that they have and will have most probably i'm sorry it's my rabbit um because I feel like there's definitely some form of chemistry, intense chemistry and twin flames energy between the both of you. They are definitely a twin flame. They may or may not know it, but I feel like you know it. And then they just suppress it, they suppress their genuine feelings towards you. Okay. Then we have lightning, but in reverse, upright is 
you know, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. But in reverse, I feel like this has been happening, this has been ongoing for quite some time. And you are just constantly trying to, you know, find some form of validation, acceptance from them, you know, trying to just, like, make them, like, just finding some form of approval from them. Why? You know, like, is it because of the twin flame connection, you know that this person's a twin flame, and you're afraid to let them go? But, and then you let them, you allow them to treat you like shit? I don't understand. So, then we have keys on a ring. We have many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So, for some of you guys, this could be a polygamous, polygamous relationship. This could be a one night stand, then eventually, our friends will benefit by eventually turning into, like, you know, wow, I really like you from your person or you, but I feel like it's more on your side. Or your person could be cheating, anything like that, okay? It's just unconventional type of relationship and your person's constantly stringing you along. So, um... Can I get one more? Wow, one more if I got to. See, soulmates once again. We have soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. And then over here we have another, we have the phoenix. In reverse, new phase, rekindled, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. But in reverse, I feel like this has been ongoing for very long. This could be from a friendship, then become a relationship, then this person betrayed you, da 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 da, you still refuse to let go, or something like that. Or they refuse to let go, they still string you along. All of that. And then, but on the deck, we have self indulge focus on self worth, you know, time to focus, shadow work, and self appreciation. I feel like eventually you're just like, yep, you know, that's it. But I feel like this card that you chose is literally an advice to you to embrace change. Just because you have a soul connection with this person, just because you feel like this person's a twin fling and it could most likely be one, doesn't mean that you should allow them to treat you like shit because twin flames, soulmates, there's not just one. You know, there, there could be many, plenty, and they don't have to come in a form of lover, like a lover, love, a relationship type of thing. They could be friends, they could be families. You, you don't allow someone to treat you like shit just because you feel like, wow, there's an intense chemistry, but okay, baby, slap me. Like, it makes no sense when you don't want them to slap you, and it's not in a bait setting, you know. <laughs> it makes, I don't know, I... Come on, group two. You are much more deserving of love, of affection, genuine love and affection than what this person is trying to give you. And maybe they're insecure or whatnot, but with the person of fire over here, I feel like they could take a lot of anger or insecurities onto you. They could insult you, you know, manipulation, narcissist tends to do things like that. They could say, can we just, uh, sorry. They could be saying things like, you know, hey, you know, if you love me, then you'll do this to me. Oh my god, why is it so ugly? Blah, blah, blah. Once again, this card is to tell you to embrace change. This person ghosted you, but maybe that's like, mm, a good sign. Anything like that, you know, I'm not gonna say anything. But because of this, I'll be using the Surrealist Tarot. I got this um, card, like, yesterday <laughs> from a friend. I've never used this card for any readings, but I feel really caught out. I'm really drawn towards to do your reading, okay? With this card, I mean. So, brand new cards, brand new beginning, am I right? Embrace change, huh? I feel like this is very much in a setting. Okay, so let's see. Why a person goes to you? I'm using the tarot to uh, do a more in-depth reading. So first, we got a six of wands. Why a person goes to you? Six of wands. Then we have the seven of cups. Seven of Cups. Wow, this imagery is perfect. Okay, give me one more. Oh, actually one more. Like, give me like three more, please. I'll get the cards shuffled, then I'll tell you what I see. Where a person go statue? We have the Three of Cups. Okay. Then we have the Four of Cups. Okay, two came out. So we have the Queen of Cups. Then we have the Knight of Cups. Ooh. Many options, right? Just to give you a hint. Then bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. 
much. But I feel like the six of swords is trying to say anything in this reading. Okay. Let me just take a sip of water, then I'll tell you what I see. Okay. So this could be for some of you guys, but with the six of swords over here. Um, okay, I'll just say what I see for the majority. But actually for like all of you guys actually. So the main reason why a person goes to you is the six of wands opening the card, I mean opening the spread. It's a lot on trying to gain some form of fame. Trying to gain some form of, you know, fame. Like trying to get out there. And I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing or like at least getting there. Uh, I feel like your person is like an actor. You get what I'm trying to say. So in order to feel appreciated, in order to feel um some sense of acknowledgement, acknowledge, acknowledgement from others. Sorry, it's my bunny. Chester, go away. Okay, sorry. Um, acknowledgement from other people. They are kind of an actor. They kind of mold to other people's liking. And like you see this. This woman's actually blind, right? And like she's covered in like shit and gunk and all of that. Um, looks like flesh, but whatever. And then this, this eyes open with the pinky. It's like telling me, it's like telling me, like, hey, look, I promise you, we will have like lots of things. We will have growth, you know, the flowers. Like I'll fix things for you with the thread. But the truth is that they suck, you know. The truth is that they won't open their eyes. But this is just a facet. And then we have the Seven of Cups over here. Seven of Cups, you look at this. I feel like the main reason why they go to you is because they want to keep you off a distance but at the same time trying to, you know, put you at the distance. And then when they have enough of like all of this, like fucking around and, you know, like, like, eh ha ha, you know, give me attention, I don't know you but I want you, blah blah blah. Then they get you back. Look at this. Because to know how perfect you are, you know, they're like, they're a pile of shit while you're like floating there, like, oh, you know, like a fucking angel. But they know they are, they're not that deserving of you, but they know that with a snap of a finger, you always come back to them. Because you love them, you have love towards them. And for many, that they played with, that they fuck with, they don't. And they're just going around, fucking around, and expecting you to come back. When with a snap of a finger like, hey groups will come back, then you come back. They will make you promises, they will tell you like, hey, look, I'm sorry for doing all of that, you know. But the truth is not, it's not a case. And I know the right away the imagery for Seven of Cups, but I feel like that's more new. They make you feel really confused. They make you feel like, okay, what's going on? Do I make a decision if I if I were to say no to to my lover, then would they they did not want me back. Is this the truth? Do they really love me? You know, like all of that. I feel like to them it's just a, a, a game of cards. It's just like a game. They play. They play like in like a card, and then they expect you to not win. Something like that. Okay, I do. I suck at playing that poker and all of that. Three of Cups is very telling. Look at these three people. If you're in a polygamous relationship, this person could be um like. Liking the other individual, but I feel like there's a third person over here. I feel like your person is actually with someone else or that they are into someone else. And just now I was saying like for the minority of you guys, blah, 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 with Six of Swords. It's a lot on like trying to go back to an ex-lover way before you or like they had an ex-lover that they want to go back and they, they still have expectations that they will come back, all of that stuff, you know. But Joe also just saying that there's a third person connection, okay, and they're just putting you on the side, like a spare tire. Four of Cups over here. I need clarifier for this. What the fuck is? The, I'm sorry. Like, okay, it's, the the imagery is kind of funny. Like there's there's like. <laughs> It was like the ground, and like there's a pigeon that looks like a leaf, but yeah, at the same time it looks like a turtle. You know, then after this is a sea, but the sea looks like a sky. Okay, I need to clarify it for this. Oh, wow. 
Tree of Swords. Look at this. Four of Cups, Tree of Swords. Oh my god. Look at this. Like, this is like Facebook, like social media. They break your hearts. You're literally like standing here. You're a fucking butterfly, let me tell you. Like you're an angel, but you're, you know. I feel like for many of you guys, you know that they're just fucking around. Four of Cups in this situation could be telling that you know they don't care about how it affects you they don't care about you at all honestly oh see adaptability right an actor like they're full of shit but they pretend to be like oh look at me i'm a fucking pigeon at the same time a turtle yeah so then we have the queen of cups as well as the knight of cups knight of cups is looking at the queen of cups and i don't feel like you're the queen of cups i feel like they are pursuing someone else and i feel like the someone else is like a demonic individual look at this art what the fuck is this it's like covered with algae and all of that but i feel like look at you you're like this you're like oh beautiful but you've been hurt by this fucker and i feel like look at this look at them they're like acting they're like molding you know like oh what do you like you're like a clown up your clown you know trying to pursue this person while literally ditching you and at the same time keeping you at a distance that's why they ghosted you this has been ongoing and ongoing and ongoing like a loop okay and six of swords over here at the bottom of the deck and then six of swords at the bottom of the deck being clarified by the devil once again it seems like this person is moving on it seems like this person is moving on to the past maybe this person seems like he's, he's moving on and they are moving on to like a new connection with this queen of cups it looks like an LG, you know like like full of shit but at the same time you're so fucking pretty that they did shoot aside then it's it's what it's all of like for sexual tension for anything like that for obsession anything like that for lust and i feel like this is just another cycle that they will make you go through they won't move you know it's just temporary they will move back and will come back like hey you know i'm sorry i did this because they are always putting you it's like a plan b come on group two like if this person, like, oh my god, you are such perfect, beautiful individuals, you have to allowing someone that's a jerkhead to treat you like this. Like, you're no one. It, it really upsets me because you don't deserve all of that. You know, embrace change. I know how scary it is. But when you finally not allow or disable someone to treat you like this look at you you're so perfect yeah at the same time you're just staying there like yeah shoot me what for and at the same time you know that they are like fucking around you're mingling around flirting around why you should be the one feeling happy not them they're full of shit let them rot okay um then we have channel messages from a person <laughs> would they come back yes <laughs> when oh it really depends on them when you stop fucking around and they feel like it really See, channel messages, the timing just wasn't right for us. We need to let each other go. Give me one more. No, oh, one more than I got to. I wish things could be different and I wish I could take my words back. I feel like all of this is full of shit. I feel like all of this is all just deception. Just trying to get you back. No need to let each other go. I wish that I could take my th words back. I wish things could be different. The timing wasn't right for us. I have to come back and hey, you know, like I'm more mature now. Like I feel like like now the timing is right for us. You know, like I'll work things out differently. We'll work things out differently. Blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to be like an like an old auntie, you know, like trying to neck 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 in your ear. But I do see like the main reason why they are not talking to you right now and it goes to you is because there's many options and this is not the first time and you know it. And um Yeah. You know, they are actively pursuing someone else that's shittier than you in terms of level. This could be an ex, this could be someone else, you know. But I feel like you know about this or you at least have some form of, um, like, feeling towards it. And, yeah, like, why? Why do you do this? Three of Cups, extremely prominent. And they ghosted you, yet at the same time keeping a distance. Like, oh, you know, I, I can't, I have this to deal with, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're like actively molding and shaping themselves to the liking of others but what about you and when are you going to settle down with someone that's not molding themselves but is actually someone like that instead of like talking crap they're actually actually like that and really love you genuinely instead of bullshitting and like just pursuing someone else on social media and letting you hurt like 
if a man or a woman loves you, they wouldn't let you hurt like that. Makes no sense. Yeah, so the, um, group two. This is all I have for you guys. I really hope that it helps you somehow. If you like it, do leave down a like and subscribe because I'm mean, yeah, sorry, you mean a lot to me. Goodbye. Group three. This is for those that has picked this card, the Shun Guide. So let's see. Um, why your person ghosted you? But first, I want to see the situation and the connection. So I'll be using the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards before I get to the tarot to see the main reason why. Okay. Spirit and universe. Please tell me the situation between. Okay. But first of all, we have to go talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Mm, detox your life. Go talk, okay. We have X, but in reverse. Upright, it says break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. In reverse. Then we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. For some of you guys, this could be um, a same-sex relationship. I'll just put out there. It doesn't really have to resonate with everyone. Then we have lightning. Okay, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Bottom of the deck, we have the snake. This is something that you're not seeing. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Oh. Okay. I feel like you and your person um, is not really, how do I say, like in a relationship, like a stable, committed relationship yet. I feel like the both of you are perhaps dating still or just friends, okay? And I feel like um, this has been ongoing for quite some time, to be honest, with the ex. I feel like every time the both of you have conflict, okay? Uh, there's a sense where the sense where the both of you won't really break up, but at the same time keeping each other at some distance, okay? Like some distance, then then like, why am I trying to say? Oh my god! So I don't feel like every time something goes bad, bad. There's a sense where the both of you would just like ghost each other then suddenly come back to each other. Like somehow I'm getting that. Then everything was perfect. This was just how you guys are. I'm not saying that it's bad. Like ghost as in not in a terrible way like how it is right now perhaps. But more on just giving each other some form of distance. Okay. Then coming to each other. Then like this is how the both of you are like. And I feel like once again, this could be a polygamous relationship, it doesn't really have to be all sex, I'm saying sex relationship, but something changed. And I feel like you are insecure, you feel insecure and you feel like something is up, your intuition is telling you something is up, your person could be dealing with someone else, but there's definitely someone that's making you feel really uncomfortable or that you feel like your person's actively or just withdrawing their time, energy and effort onto you they're not talking to you as much you're not giving as much attention and all of that and you feel like there's some sense of competition going on you feel like your person's dealing with someone else or you feel like polygamous relationship or just that your person could be giving someone else a lot of time, a lot of attention and it's not on you anymore I feel like this is what's up and I feel like this was happening during the ghosting period that the both of you always give each other whenever times are bad, this sense of distance, okay? Now for some reason, they really ghosted you. Yeah. They really ghosted you and, you and you're left like clueless, like what is going on? That's why you're watching this video because I'm gonna tell you why. But I feel like this is the main thing. There was sudden change that what the fuck is this? Like why are you no longer... Like, um, talking to me as much, why are you giving this person so much attention? What's the relationship between you like? Or perhaps for some of you guys who resonates with the polygamous thing, like, oh, like, I thought we were a couple, you know, like, not a couple couple, but I mean, like, a relationship thing. Like, all of us love each other. Then suddenly you give this person more and more time. Like, what the fuck am I? I'm your girlfriend, I'm your boyfriend, you know. So, um, let's see what's up. 
I'll be using the Ether Tarot for your reading. Okay. Well, this really comes up first. Okay, I'm not gonna take all of these because it's upside down. Okay. No, too many cards. Spirits and oops, sorry. Spirit and universe, please tell me why why group one and not group one, why group three people individual or their person has ghosted them? Like what's the main reason? The main reason the Hierophants, Four of Pentacles. So many cards. Okay, let me shift a little bit. Six of Swords. Four of Pentacles and Six of Swords to Hierophants. So many cards. Okay, I'll just take all of this. Then we have the Queen of Cups. Then we have the Hanged Man. And then we have the Three of Cups. See? Told you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Moving on. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like scratching myself. Okay. Um, I feel like the main reason why your person ghosted you is due to their own sense of pride and own sense of ego. I feel like they feel that they know everything. That they have gained some form of lesson. And then, um, yeah, I, I really do feel like they have kind of moved on into another connection as of now. Or giving that person a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. Especially with the Eight of Cups. They have like ditched you, abandoned you. And to move on and to give this love, these emotions that they have. That was, the, that was once with you. Or once on you to someone else. And then we have two cards that's really talking about or represents moving on in terms of emotions, in terms of mentally, okay? And I need some clarifiers actually. So, yeah, the Ace of Swords wanted to come out. I feel like this is the hurtful truth. I know that it sucks to know about it, but this is the truth. I feel like, um, okay, I really need some clarifiers. But I'll put this Eight of Cups over here. Please clarify the Hierophants. One card, please. Told you one card. Oh shit. Okay, one card came out. We have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, but in reverse. Thank you. Then Four of Pentacles to clarify. We have the Ten of Cups. It's a lot of cards. A lot of cards wants to come up for your reading. Okay, then to clarify the Six of Swords, we have... Two cards actually. No words, I don't want to do reverses, so five of cups to clarify the hierophant. Oh my I'm like I'm like not on you but on your person to be honest. Okay, okay never mind, this came out. So six of swords. To clarify six of swords we have the page of pentacles. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like laughing because of your person. Your person is doing something really dumb. Let me just tell you. Queen of Cups, the moon. The fuck? Hanged man. I have the sun. Okay. Oh my god, your person is doing something really dumb. I feel like... um. Okay, I feel like this connection or you and your person could be like... Okay, I'm just gonna say it. For a lot of you guys, I'm getting this feeling where you're like those um, radical liberals, like Gen Z types on TikTok. Okay, um, and this is what I'm getting. <laughs> but it doesn't really have to be like that. But why I'm saying that is because my impression on that people, not saying that, not implying that it's bad, but it's kind of immature. And I feel like your person could be like that as well. 
considering that there's a possibility where it's gonna be like a polygamous relationship nothing against that as well but like this is what i'm seeing emotional not in the sense where it's mentally or anything but it's just doing things that are really dumb at the time being <sighs> clarify the three of cups thank you then we have the ten of swords then the three of pentacles both three please clarify again the three of cups and the ten of it's the ten of wands what the fuck the ace of swords okay this is the only one that i got three um clarifiers hope you can see you know the tower so what i'm trying to say is that i feel your person is <sighs> they feel like they've gained a lesson or they know about something oh you know i gain them inside blah 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 and it's in a sense where it's a lot on looking at the other side of the fence and thinking the grass is much greener you know it's like thinking that what they have right now isn't isn't good enough and mm. that's why they want something more and that's why they pursue someone else because with the hanged man as well as the son over here they feel like based on what they've been analyzing over and over again in their perspective this other person can offer them so much more and that's why they are moving forward but what they have to offer with the six of swords and then the page of pentacles towards this person is so minor in terms of their stability in terms of their offer in terms of their their gifts you know offer in general what can they give financially nothing much practically nothing much but it's more on emotions and i feel like um it's a lot on drifting to the other person for some reason i feel like i really feel like your person's dealing with someone else and um yeah and four of pentacles then the ten of cups <sighs> the just now i wanted to get a clarifier for four of pentacles as well as the ten of cups and i got the ace of cups so i didn't take it out I really do feel like your person is trying to conserve their energy because they think like, oh, I've already known what it's like. Okay, oh my god. Okay, later. Know what it's like to be in a relationship where I feel so fulfilled. And it's kind of like they got complacent with it. You get what I'm trying to say? They got complacent with it because it's with you. And your person could have not, could have like commitments issues, so I'm guessing. Then they just want to pursue someone else. And just earlier I was like, oh my god, it's because like, this is ten of cups, then a ten of swords, then a ten of wands. What is missing? The ten of pentacles. Like your person, just now, I really hope you guys don't cancel me, but really what I mean by Gen Z and all of that isn't anything bad. I'm a Gen Z myself, but like, um, like they don't have much to offer financially. I don't have much financially as well, you know and they have so much incompletion yet financially it's not there and they feel like they can attain it with this person but at the same time they're coming from a stand where they don't have much and whatever this is i i'm not really getting into it to be honest like but what i'm trying to say is that your person has gotten really complacent with you that's why they're pursuing someone else and that's why they ghosted you okay and uh, but i feel like they still want to keep the friendship with you as well um considering there's a tree of pentacles but they're not sure how and i feel like this has got you like what the fuck we have gone through so much we've shed so much memories in doing this to me you know like what's up i do see a like, communication will be coming through okay but it's gonna be in a sense where with the two of wands um your person's not going to give you much of an answer your person will just be in a place of indecisiveness they're not going to choose them yet and they're not going to choose you so they will make you confused and they'll be confused themselves as well okay and then the ace of wands i feel like your person still has a lot of attraction towards you okay but but there's no commitment between the both of you and <clears throat> i don't see like this person may or may not need to really answer to you really like be confined with you because they're just not committed to you you know what i'm trying to say it's like a relationship at the same time it's it, there's no commitment they can just walk out anytime so i feel like it's more on you being really um confused being really curious what's up 
And some of you guys may be huts, but I feel like with detox your life over here, your person's trying to detox your life, trying to change, trying to change the people they're interacting with, and I feel like that's including you. Five of Wands over here, that, because there could be a lot of arguments or whatnot, but it's more on them mentally. It's more on them internally, I, I mean. Like, somehow they justify that you're one of those people that they don't really want to hang out with because they're not really benefiting from you and anything like that. So they're trying to detox and they're trying to get with someone else. Okay? And this Three of Cups can also mean friendship, but I'm really getting that it's with someone else. Also can represent a uh, third person connection, I mean. And I feel like this friendship, when this really represents friendship, it's a lot on what the both of you have. Okay, be it friendship or relationship or anything like that. It has brought them a lot of pain, a lot of struggles, and they're done with it. They want to just give it an end. And that's the painful truth. Okay, that's the honesty, that's the realization, the clarity for you to know. And they have gone through it as well. And yeah, but I feel like at the same time, they are keeping you at a distance where they want to be more um, platonic with you and be friends with you, but not really be in that position anymore um, where the both of you are really much more interactive and much more connected. So let's see um, some channel messages. Okay, I'll really scared that I'll get cancelled, but I really do not mean anything bad. Okay, anyway, <laughs> channel messages for our group. For group trees people okay both are in reverse we have i left when i saw you with someone but in reverse you and i were too young but in reverse should i go in reverse uh, yes okay i have so many things reminds me of you i know i was a pain from a distraction so you could be with this person being like friends with benefit and whatnot. I just want to tell you that I knew exactly what I was doing. But I feel like once again, oh my god, I need to keep justifying the Gen Z thing. I really don't want to anyone to take offense to this, but I really do not mean it in an intentional, hurtful and illful way. But what I'm getting is that once again is the is the behavior, is the situation, is how they do their their actions and your action into this situation is kind of immature and it doesn't really mean that the both of you are very young because you and i were both young blah 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 i feel like this coming from your person is more on the situation that we were in we were kind of impractical we were kind of sorry y'all um <laughs> i my phone ran out of storage and i was still babbling but what I'm trying to say is that what was I just now? Like we were kind of impractical the actions that we put, the actions that we behaved, the actions that we did in this situation was not how do I say it was not like mature. It was it was more of like we were thinking with our grinds, we were thinking of our not hearts but with our minds that we want to get late, you know, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so um this is all I have for you guys. I really hope that it helps you somehow okay i know that it's very like here and there and um it's because of this whole energy that i'm getting from this reading like i feel like there's not much decide i mean there's not much decision made in this connection with you and your person like the both of you are not committed in a relationship yet at the same time the both of you are like to a certain extent and i know Okay, and it confuses me as a reader, and I feel like it confuses you as well, as far as a person. So, um, yeah, this is all I have for you guys. I really hope that you have to somehow once again, and do leave them a like and subscribe because it will mean a lot to me. Goodbye.